them apply for grants, right? Because grants are an incredible resource, right? Like, you got to think about it. If you don't have the funding that you need, all right, like, you're going to run into problems. But let's get into how having a target audience is going to help you get that funding that you need, right, for that income, right? So you get the funding, and now you can start, you know, have your offers together so you can have the income you need or even go places you need and things like that, right? So let's get into it. When you're applying for grants, they're going to ask specifically, like, what communities you're impacting or what people you're impacting, right? And that's incredible because if you know who you're impacting, it's easier for someone to be able to help you, right? Because they say, let's say, for example, you help um, black kids like that are uh, black youth that are dealing with substance abuse, right? That are, you know, because that, that there is a portion of those people that are dealing with that kind of stuff, right? So now there's grants specifically tailored to substance abuse. And since you have a niche market, you, you could tie into that, right? So now you can apply for your grants. Okay, your grants go through. You um, you know apply those, whether it's profit business, nonprofit organization. You apply those grants to what you're doing. And then from there, after you apply your grants, you know, you're going to have the funding necessary to increase your income, right? So, Listen. All right, this is James Lee Love, Brands Experts Podcast, podcast where brands market the expertise through podcasting, and this is brought to you by Brands Experts Foundation, foundation that helps underserved communities and veteran specialty, um, excuse me, veteran resource brands, right? Brands that have resources for veterans partner with expert level brands for uh, brand development mentorship okay so what we're doing today or what we're talking about today is hold on How having a target audience will increase the income of your brand. Okay. So we're going to get into that right now. Okay. So listen, what you need to remember, right, about having a target audience and why it's so important is because having a target audience, right, it does a few things for you, right? So we're going to get into what a target audience is first. And then we'll get into the rest of the stuff, okay? Let me just set something real quick. Make sure that our time is right. We won't need to cut off or anything like that. Cool, we had it set. So let's get into the whole target audience thing, right? So what is it, right? So your target audience is it's like who your message, who your brand is made for, okay? You can step outside of that from time to time. But genuinely, you want to be working with a specific group, right? So you know who you're helping. You know who you're talking to. Uh, everything is directed towards somebody, right? So for us, right, like with Brands Experts Podcast, right, it's where community development brands market their expertise through podcasting, okay? So if your brand is designed to help a community develop, that's who we talk to, right? Brands Experts Podcast, right? And then Brands Experts Foundation, right? And this is to show you that we have our target audiences locked down. So brands that provide resources to veterans, that's one. And then another one is um, under the, 
underrepresented communities, right? So communities that don't have the resources, right? We help them get mentorship with expert level brands, right? Brands that are really doing their thing, right? In a specific industry, right? So we're going to get into how that is going to instantly add to the income for your brand, right? Instantly. When I say instantly, I mean literally overnight, you can start putting things together to have that be beneficial to your brain instantly, overnight. Like that same day you target it down, you could do that. And that's because of grants, right? We're specifically talking to grants, right? We can get to loans on another day, but today we're talking about grants, right? So why um, is the grant thing so important to have a target audience, right? When companies want to work with your brand and apply funding, they want to know who you're helping. So if you're helping black communities, if you're helping Hispanic communities, if you're helping children that are depressed, right, or, or going through things, uh, you know, dealing with suicidal thoughts and things like that, like shout out to You Are Enough Foundation. They work with uh, kids that are doing that. They just had a collaboration with ABU Youth Build, right, uh, you know, and that whole community over there, you know, shout out Lavelle Fleming, right, Pastor Lavelle, you know, and that whole community, every youth build, and you are enough foundation. So they partnered together to put that thing together. Um, because you are enough foundation has a target audience, you can do that, right? But it also helps them apply for grants, right? Because grants are an incredible resource, right? Like, you got to think about it. If you don't have the funding that you need, right, like you're going to run into problems. But let's get into how having a target audience is going to help you get that funding that you need, right, for that income, right? So you get the funding and now you can start, you know, have your offers together so you could have the income you need or even go places you need and things like that, right? So let's get into it. When you're applying for grants, they're going to ask specifically like what communities you're impacting or what people you're impacting, right? And that's incredible because if you know who you're impacting, it's easier for someone to be able to help you, right? Because they say, let's say, for example, you help um, black kids like that are uh, black youth that are dealing with substance abuse, right? That are, you know, because that, that there is... A portion of those people that are dealing with that kind of stuff right so now there's grants specifically tailored to substance abuse and since you have a niche market you, you could tie into that right so now you can apply for your grants okay your grants go through you um, you know apply those rather it's profit business nonprofit organization you apply those grants to what you're doing and then from there after you apply your grants you know, you're going to have the funding necessary to increase your income, right? So, that, I mean, ultimately, that's what we need. We, Because when we're shooting for getting more income, right, and we don't have that initial capital to get everything started, we're going to run into problems. We're going to, we're not going to be able to get the venues we want. We're not going to be able to get the vendors we want. We're not going to be able to do those things. So it's going to directly put us in opportunities to get the funding that we need for that income, right? Because sometimes those grants are the income that we need to operate, right? That's that operating income, just the grants, right? I'm going to say that again. Sometimes the grants are that operating income that we need. And uh, that's that's huge to have that opportunity to get that operating income. is huge. But a lot of times that happens because they specifically know who we want to work with, right? With our organization. Because if nobody knows who you want to work with, like like with us, you know, both of the brands, you know, I own, right, help veterans, right? That's both of one of the main things that we do because I'm a veteran, U.S. Army. So since I'm a U.S. Army veteran, I want to start organizations that help veterans. That's something that I feel is huge. And, you know, there's so many people that I can identify with being a veteran, people that are in ROTC, you know, these are the heroes for the United States. And to be able to have an organization that speaks to that target audience 
is huge because now that we have our grants in, that is something we specifically put in our grant proposals was that, you know, we're helping veterans in this Antelope Valley, Southern California community, Los Angeles area, Southern California, um, all the areas that we are going to impact and we already are impacting with the foundation, with the podcast and with the media marketing and production agency, the Champions Playbook, right? You know, we have our target audiences, right? And it's, it's super important to do that. Like, we really don't want you to discount that, how important it is to have your target audience. is huge. You're not, you know, don't want to just say, hey, we're, we're helping everybody. No, you have your target audience that you help, right? So, you know, that will help you with your funding, right? Because there's going to be a lot of questions and stuff that they ask. And then you can immediately, when you go to Google, you can search for events once you get your funding that you can help, right? You can, you know, you can go to Google and you can put all that stuff in that you help those specific people accomplish all those things, right? So that's another huge accomplishment that you could work towards, you know, with your funding, right? very important to have your funding locked down because what will happen is if you don't have your funding you're going to run into a lot of constraints you're going to run into a lot of roadblocks you're going to run into a lot of problems because your funding isn't locked down because your funding isn't situated right you don't know where your income is coming in you don't have anything to start what you're doing and you're going to need your funding to get that stuff going right but having a target audience will help your grant writer write those grants the right way to attract the um, the people that need to be attracted, the experts that need to be attracted to, you know, accomplish your goals as you need to with your brand, right? Because, again, like we talked about in previous episodes, we do not want funding to be an issue. I'm going to say that again. We do not want funding to be an issue. We want you to have your funding. We want you to have that locked down, once you have that situated, and knowing who you're speaking to Knowing who you're talking to is a great way to be able to get that funding locked down to be able to move forward with your funding, okay? So we're going to say that again. You need a target audience, right? So, you know, one of the things that helped us find target audiences just for us, and we're speaking from our perspective, everybody's a little bit different with this. For us, when it came to target audience, what really helped us a lot is just thinking about, you know, who who we are like you know like you know the things that that we're into right and uh you know like the things we've done like been a part of a community been a part of a community that needs help right and so when we talk about brands experts foundation right a lot of times there's a there's a, like a small business over here that needs help from this expert level business. And, you know, they, they need to speak that same language. You know, they need mentorship. But sometimes they don't know they need mentorship. So they need somebody like us to let them know, hey, you guys need mentorship. Like you guys got to work on your mentorship piece. And they don't really know that or know that they need to work on that. So since they don't know that and since they're not working on that, they're not solving that mentorship piece and they're missing out on maybe they're missing out on clients maybe they're missing out on events they need to do maybe they're missing out on new you know recipes they need to add you know restaurant business right but if they could come to us and get that mentorship from the expert level business or brand right they push them at an incredible advantage because you know we want to stop the issues of everyone learning doing everything themselves we've had guests on here that are, you know expert level brands we have fit for mom we have Top Shelf Financial, we have Top Shelf 17, right? Uh, different industries, right? Fit for Mom in the clothing, Top Shelf Financials in the financial and investing industry and insurance. And then we also have Top Shelf 17 that's in the um, you know, clothing industry, right? So really, if you really look at everything that's, that goes on, right, that's our goal to take starter level brands that are starting out, don't know what to do. And provide them these workshops and these events to have the opportunity to learn from these expert level brands, right? But also, you know, brands that help veterans, right? We want to bring them in and, you know, 
have opportunities for them to learn. Right. So, you know, that helps us get funding. So really like because we we know who we're speaking to. When I look at the proposals that, you know, my grant writers put together, shout out to them. Right. It, it helps us a lot because it helps me understand who they're talking to, understand the messaging with the writing. It puts us in a credible opportunity to be able to get the grants that we need um, as operating income. As something that will help us craft our offers and our programs to be able to help our target audience. Right. So these are important things. We really don't want you out there just talking to everybody. This is a mistake that I made. And, uh, you know, it's unnecessary. Like, and it's bad to just keep making the same mistake. Like, that's not nothing that I want to do. And that's nothing that I want you to do. Like, I don't want you to make the same mistake over and over. Like, sometimes mistakes are necessary. But I was watching Social Proof Podcast yesterday. Shout out David Shans. You know, everything he's doing. But he was talking about how, like, a lot of times mistakes turn into, like, a badge of honor. And we all feel like we need to, you know, do these same mistakes. But in a reality scenario... Um, you know, if you're growing and doing the things you need to do, a lot of times the mistakes are just are, are just really a waste of time. There's no need for you to, to go through them. If you can, you know, learn from somebody that's already went through that, you know, you're in a great position. You know, a lot of experts say, you know, you're learning from your own mistakes like a fool does that. And, you know, a lot of ways I believe that. Like, or it's like if I already lost $100, why do you need to lose it? Why well, not say keep your money? Don't buy this. Buy this. If you can go ahead and do that, read a book to do that. Go to a class, do a coaching session, whatever the case. You know, listen to a podcast, learn from someone else's mistake, put you in the advantage to you know not waste time like me. You know, with the Champions Playbook Media Marketing and Production Agency, right? That helps veterans. And community resource brands get funding. You know, started this thing in 2019 until now with, with that company. I did everything. You know, now we're applying for grants. We're doing other things. But I did everything myself, bootstrap. Everything I purchased, all the, you know, from shirts, whatever else I was doing, cameras, gimbals, everything I did myself, right? And so you learn from that, right? You, you learn and stop doing it. Just stop doing everything yourself. You know, it's selfish, really. Just keeping it real is selfish because you're you're wasting precious resources, time, and don't waste it. Yes, you're still learning and growing, but at the same time, it's taking longer than it needs to. And why? Why is it taking this long? Like, stop trying to find an excuse why something takes a long time and just change your mindset to say we're going to learn from someone, a brand, organization, an expert, whatever the case is, and get to where you need to go. You know, don't hold yourself back. Don't use it. You don't use something taking a long time as a badge of honor. It's not. It's actually like kind of like the wrong thing to do for it to take too long. Some things do take, you know, the time that it's supposed to take. And, you know, we understand that. But for the most part, we're wasting time. So back to who he's talking about. Yes. So get your target audience and you speak to them. Your content speaks to them. You know, everything you do speaks to them, right? Uh, you know, just period. Everything you do speaks to your target audience. And uh, just craft everything to speak to your target audience. If you have to restructure, if you have to redo something, you have to rename something. I'd rather you catch it early and readjust it. And keep doing, keep doing what you're doing. And keep being stuck. And keep going over and over. I'd rather you catch it early. I'd rather you rename something early in the first five years and do it 15 years in. Catch it early. All right, loosen your pride up. Loosen up your mental, you know, uh, cockiness of, of what you're doing. Loosen that up and get going. You know, we don't want you to be stuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, being stuck is no good. All right, not having the target audience is no good. Learn today. Let today, whatever day you're watching this be the day that you create your target audience. That you think about what you've been through. Like, that's who we want you to talk to. Whoever you've been, talk to them. Whoever you were before, that's who you're in a position to help. That's who you are really in the big picture is who you used to be, who you were. Like, that's who you evolved from. 
So that's who you're in line to help. So that's who your target audience should be. So, you know, like let's take, you know, Stock Tar Shardy, right? Teaches, you know, people stocks, right? If he made his target audience people that have been incarcerated, right? People coming. There's a whole group of those people so he can help. He, he's in position to help people that have been incarcerated like he was. And he's in position to help those people. So if his target audience was those people, so now he can go into jails, he can go into prison, he can go into youth authority, he can go talk to these people and show them what he's doing, the brand that he's built, how he made it official, just like that. Like he can get into building his brand that way. So we just showed you a specific way that you can build what you're doing immediately, right? Just immediately, you know, we just gave you an example of somebody that's already doing something good but may not have a target audience, and it's something that he did. He could change it later if he wants to, but he can immediately say, these are the, these are the you know, people we want to help, and this could help him with grant funding. This can help him get in certain places. You know, um, maybe we talk, like I said, we're talking about youth authority. We're talking about, um, you know, cities have jails and things like that. And they need people to talk to them, right? So he can be the person that speaks to them when they're trying to go wherever they're trying to go. He could be the person that speaks to them and helps them get to where they're trying to go, all right? And so that's what we ultimately want. We want people like him to be able to get grants. We want people like like him and, and other brands like that to be able to get to where they need to go and do things that they need to do. You know, that's what we ultimately want to accomplish, you know, with what we're doing. And, you know, we feel, you know, like we're in a strong position to, to see that happen. And, you know, because we're already doing that. Like, we already have what we do. We already have our target audience. This helps us speak to those veterans. This helps us target those experts that need to be talked to. And, yeah, it just helps us fully, you know, lock in and get to the areas that we need to get to. All right, so... You know, we look forward to, you know, accomplishing those things with our brand and, you know, continue to have our target audience. Um, and it's already helped us. Like, we've already been able to put our grants in. We already have, I believe, around 10 in. And we're going to keep, we have a monthly strategy. See, now that we have our target audience, we know who we're talking to. What's incredible now is we, since we know who we're talking to, everything is structured to work with them and it's structured for them, right? So. Everything is for our target audience. That's number one. Number two, we could put grants and get funding. Number three, we know um, different, you know, people we can go talk to, right? Community events, chamber of commerce events, right? We can go talk to, you know, this is for the foundation, but just giving you an example, we're going to talk to, to vet, vets for vets. We have different, different vet resource brands in Southern California in the Antelope Valley. We can go speak to them, network with them put events together with them, right? Uh, you know, we're just showing you since we have a target audience, you know, what we could do. We can also put in for our grant funding. So, uh, you know, there's a wide area of opportunity that exists for us. And we're just so proud to be in an opportunity, uh, to be in a position to know about this. So now, you know, our, our funding potential or our income potential is crazy because now, you know, donations, all this other stuff, right, with, all of our brands, the potential for that is huge, right? So we just wanted to let you know that, you know, that's what this episode was about. Take advantage, get your target audience, think about things you've done. You know, we recommend you make that your target audience. If it's something else, make it that and speak to those people, network with those people and brands and uh, take your stuff to where it needs to go. Don't hold yourself back. Don't lie to yourself, right? And uh, don't be afraid, right? Uh, don't think... You know, another thing I want to say before we get out of here is we think we close ourselves off when we do that, but we actually open ourselves up to actually have deeper conversations, right? Because when we have a target audience, like, now I could talk to that veteran that got fired or not is, is afraid to start a business or doesn't know where to get funding or doesn't know what to do. So, you know, we could let him know, hey, if he's a barber, he can start offering haircuts to veterans, you know, homeless veterans for free. Now, since he does that, he can get funding from he can put in for his grants, let you know the world know what he does. His his website, what to name it, all this other stuff. Everything can be structured the right way for it to work for him long term, right? Because that's what we want. We want things set up long term. We want your brand to be successful, 
the worst thing we want is for you to have this dream of being your own, being a business owner, being successful, and things falling apart kind of quick, and you have nowhere to go. Um, you just sit there and you be sad and crying, and, and your your family depends on this income, and it's not working out. So that's what we want. So we want you to let you know where to find us. Just go to Brands Experts Podcast dot com, right? Or you go to Brands Experts Foundation dot org, or you go to Brands Experts Foundation dot com, right? Um, you're gonna be able to be up to date with all the stuff that we're doing and all that good stuff, and uh, you know, yeah, like target it down. We want you know by the next episode, we want to know do you have your target audience anywhere in the comments and the stuff that we're doing. Right, who your target audience is, and yeah, let's take off. Let's be great and experts in exactly what we do. James Lee Love, let's do it. For checking out this episode of the Brands Experts Podcast, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out all our socials like Instagram. Make sure you check out our website, and make sure you check up check out our VIP. BrandsExpertsPodcast.com. Exclusive VIP stuff, interviews, exactly how to make money, exactly how to partner with great brands. We just things you need to know, right? For, you know, you got to remember if you want to get to where you need to go, you need to pay for that, right? That's how you're paying for that value that you need. So make sure you go over there, check that out. And yeah, we're here for you. Brands Experts Podcast. Let's go.